Dear students, my name is Dr. Mushraf Fauzi, and in this lecture, I will talk about other types of radiographs that can be used in orthodontics beside the routine radiographs, which are the panoramic and cephalometric radiographs. These radiographs are an extra type of radiographs that helps in the diagnosis and in the treatment planning, and they include intraoral radiographs, extraoral radiographs, which can be used for assessing the uh, skeletal maturity and the most contemporary types of radiographs, which are the three-dimensional three radiographs. The other types of diagnostic aids are the three-dimensional imaging, which are the most contemporary views. Uh, so, when taking a cephalometric radiograph, usually it shows only two dimensions, which is the vertical and the anthroposterior dimension. So, normally we have three dimensions, vertical, sagittal, or anthroposterior and transverse dimension. So, when taking a two-dimensional radiograph, usually it has many limitations. First is errors of projection and anatomical superimposition and uh, landmark identification is sometimes uh, difficult in cases of uh, two dimensions and the measurement and interpretation is also difficult when using a two-dimensional radiograph. For this reason, a three-dimensional radiograph is an important so the first type of a three-dimensional radiograph is the cone beam computed tomography, which is called as or abbreviated as CBCT. So the usual CT has a high radiation dosage and it has a lack of resolution and it has it's a, it's a bit expensive, so it has a high cost. For this reason, CBCT is used for the head and the jaws because it has a lower radiation dosage and it has improved resolution and it's less expensive than the normal, the usual CT scan. CBCT in general can be used for airway analysis so when assessing the airway volume and shape and also can be used for assessing the alveolar bone height and volume especially when placing a dental uh, implant we can measure the height of the alveolar bone and the volume of uh, the bone for the accurate placement of the dental implant and for TMJ viewing, temporomandibular joint viewing which will definitely aid in the diagnosis of temporomandibular joint. So the ability to view structures from all three planes of space without any superimposition and geometric distortions is the key advantage of CBCT over the conventional image. So CBCT is used in orthodontics for the diagnosis and definite diagnosis of ectopically, ectopically erupting or impacted teeth, especially the maxillary canines and other teeth like the incisors and even supernumerary uh, teeth, which will re definitely require a surgical exposure and orthodontic tooth movement to bring them into the mouth. So you can see here, this is an impacted, a bilateral impacted uh, canine, and from the CBCT, you can easily diagnose and know the location of this impacted canine, which is a palatally impacted uh, canine, and you can see other uh, views whether those uh, canines causing root resorption of the central uh, incisors. So, when viewing a two-dimensional radiograph, you cannot diagnose the position of the canine, whether it's labially or palatally impacted. So CBCT can definitely diagnose the position of the canine. And also we can view if there is a root resorption or the erupting canine causing 
a root resorption which will cause changing and complete change of the treatment plan because if this root resorption is so severe in this cases we need to extract the upper lateral incisor if the resorption is so severe and uh, causing mobility in the lateral incisor so CBCT will help in uh, planning the treatment for those patients And also, it can be taken for severe patients with severe facial asymmetry. So we can uh, easily diagnose the uh, asymmetry, facial asymmetry. Usually, we take uh, anthroposterior radiograph. There's some sort of radiograph which shows uh, two dimension, the uh, vertical and transverse uh, dimension, without showing the anthroposterior dimension. But this kind of radio, three-dimensional radiograph shows exactly the amount of defect. You can see here it's measured in millimeters. And also, CBCT is also indicated in cases of syndromes and congenital deformities and uh, sequelae of facial trauma, which is important for the maxillofacial surgeon. So you can see here example of uh, a syndrome. And this is an example of a congenital deformity or anomaly, which is a patient with uh, cleft lip and palate. Uh, here we can see the size of the cleft, the size of the defect, because at certain times, the, this patient will definitely need a alveolar bony graft. And in this case, we can assist the region where we take the bone from and the amount of bone needed for filling this gap. So this table shows the amount of effective uh, radiation dose. Uh, DPT is the dental panoramic uh, tomograph, which is the OPG, and it shows exactly the effective uh, dose radiation, which is from 3 to 38. You can see is the CBCT, it forms 10 to 67, while the conventional CT it ranges from 300 to 50 to uh, 1200. So it's a high amount of radiation and uh, CBCT uh, significantly redu reduces the amount of uh, effective radiation dose. So Additionally, CBCT allows the acquisition of detailed 3D images of the face in high resolution. So uh, uh, it's useful in planning a computer-aided uh, surgery. So it allows surgical planning and simulation using the information from CBCT. So here you can see that it allows a detailed information about the anatomy, like in this case, the anatomy of the mandible and the shape and the size and proposterior position of the mandible. And when we combine the soft uh, tissue, uh, so the data captured from a three-dimensional facial camera, soft tissue, we can see the soft tissue relation to the hard uh, tissue, which is an additional uh, advantage. Besides, uh, virtual surgery can be undertaken, so we call it as uh, morphing, so the patient can see the results on uh, the computer, what will happen, how we can advance, and how, to, how would that change the uh, face and the rip, uh, lip relation, and also allow uh, to calculate the safest osteotomy line. This is the line where we cut and which one is the best. So we can uh, cut here or here, and which cut is the safest uh, one. And uh, finally, it allows to making a, a surgical uh, discipline by printing uh, a three-dimensional uh, surgical discipline, which helps and aid in fixing the maxilla and uh, mandible after surgery.
optical laser scanning on uh, zero photo uh, photogrammetry uh, is an optical laser scanning that utilizes laser beam, which is uh, captured by a video camera at a set of a distance from uh, the laser and produces a three-dimensional uh, image. And it can be used for studying the uh, facial growth and uh, for soft tissue changes in normal uh, population and investigating the effects of orthodontic and uh, surgical uh, treatment. So stereophotogrammetry is a kind of three-dimensional diagnostic aid that can be used for studying different types of facial growth and uh, soft tissue. Finally, thank you for your kind attention.